Okay, so we're going to do now question number six from uh, February, March 2018. Question about linear programming. Linear programming, well, inequalities came up, inequalities and regions came up in paper two. So I'm in the paper two of June 2018. And the paper four is in a few days. So we kind of kind of predict what's going to come up in that. And um, I'm kind of guessing that there won't be anything like this there, but still I'm going to do it because I said I will do the whole of this paper, the February March one, as we can't find the March scheme anywhere. So now, Klaus buys X silver balloons and Y gold balloons for a party. So just be very clear from the beginning, X is silver, the number of silver balloons, and Y is the number of gold balloons. Okay? He buys more gold balloons than silver balloons, at least 15 silver balloons, less than 50 gold balloons, and a total of no more than 70 balloons. So we've got to write down four inequalities in terms of X and or Y to show this information. So let's start with the first one. More gold balloons than silver balloons. So that means Y, the gold balloons, must be greater than X, the silver balloons. The number of gold balloons is more than the number of silver balloons. Okay, that's the first one done. Then it says at least 15 silver balloons. So silver balloons, the number of them is X, there must be at least 15. That means you can't have less than 15, there must be 15 or more. 15 or more. So X must be greater than or equal to 15. Okay, and then you have at least 50 gold balloons. Well, Y is gold balloons, and there must be at least, sorry, there must be less than 50. Less than 50, it means you can't have 50, but you can have less than 50. And we can also write this if we wish is, as Y is less than or equal to 49, because balloons come in whole numbers. So if there's less than 50, then the, the, the highest it can be is 49. Okay, so Y must be less than or equal to 49. Or you can write Y is less than 50, both of them are perfectly acceptable. Okay, if it wasn't something which will, can only come in whole numbers, then you couldn't write Y is less than or equal to 49. Because, you know, it's something that, that can be divided, then you can write any, you know, you should write Y is less than 50, though, because everything up to 50 will be acceptable. But here, everything over 49 won't be acceptable, because it has to be whole number. Balloons come in whole numbers. A total of no more than 70 balloons. That means the number of silver balloons plus the number of gold balloons must be no more than 70. So they can be 70 or less. So less than or equal to 70. So here we have the first, we have the four inequalities that are described in the question. Now we go on to part B. In part B, okay, we have our inequalities there and we're asked to plot them on this graph. Okay, I'm just going to make the graph a bit smaller so I can see what's happening a bit better. Okay, Now, y is greater than x. So let's start with y is greater than x. Okay, y is greater than x. Now, the boundary line for this is y equals x. That's the line I have to draw before I can show this region. Okay, the region is defined by an area, but the area has a boundary where it starts, and that's defined by the line, y equals x. Now, y equals x is a pretty easy line to draw. Whatever x is, y is the same number. So when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 10, y is 10. When x is 20, y is 20. You can think of it like that. Or you can think of it as, uh, this is like y equals mx plus c. So in this case, x is 1 and c is 0, sorry, m is 1 and c is 0, the gradient is 1 and the y-intercept is 0. So the y-intercept is 0, it goes to 0, and for every 1 unit it goes up, it goes 1 unit across. So it's like 10 units up, 10 across. Anyway, that, that's how you can draw this line. So I'm going to draw this line, make it slightly thinner than... You have to try and be as accurate as you can, that's not very accurate. I'll try and fix it now. These questions you have to be really accurate when you draw your graphs because you want them to intersect at the right places. Okay, so that's the line y equals x. Okay, then I, after I finish drawing all the lines, I can then do the regions. The second line that we have to draw is y x is, is greater than or equal to 15. That's the region we have to show. So we can say x is equal to 15. Now x equals something is a vertical line going through that number on the x-axis okay so x equals 15 will be a line going through 15 
on the x-axis. So we can see each one of these squares is going to be a 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to go through 5. 5 squares away from 10. Okay, so vertical line going straight up. Going straight up. Okay, so that's the line x equals 15. So that's a boundary for that line. Okay, then you have the third line, which is y, or the third region, y is less than 50, or if you want y is less than or equal to 49. Okay, I personally would prefer to draw y is less than or equal to 49 because it can be a solid line, and you know you don't have to worry about uh, that line is not included. Anything on that line is not included because it's dotted, so you have to go below it and stuff like that. If you do y equals y equals 14, uh, y is less than 49 that will make your life a, a bit easier so and it's quite easy to plot 49 here so that's what i'm going to do and that's what i think that's a, that's a much better strategy when you've got such a line like this okay okay so that's the line y equals 49 okay then you got so that that's the line we drew y equals 49 because you could draw y equals y equals 50 but it would be dotted and then anything on that line won't be included here everything is included in this line it makes it, things clearer then you've got x uh, plus y ah sorry one thing one very important thing the first line should be dotted because it's y is less than x so it should be a dotted line okay let's change that to a dotted line so we've got line style dotted okay that's better. yes y is less than x okay y so y is greater than x it should be a dotted line because it's greater than not greater than equal to okay so that's how that line should be and now we've got one more line to draw which is the one from the inequality x plus y must be less than or equal to 70. So that's the boundary line, of course, x plus y equals 70, and it's going to be a solid line. Uh, so x plus y equals 70 is a very easy line to draw. If you want to draw x plus y equals 70, it just goes through 70 on both axes. Most of you know that. You can think of it. Why? The reason being is this. When x is 0, y is 70. x is 0 on the y-axis. And when y is 0, x is 70. So it goes to those two points. Can I see them together on the same page? Yes, I can just about. Okay. So I'm going to join. And it's going to be a solid line. Make sure it's solid. Yes. I'm going to join 70 and 70 on the other axis. Okay. Um, that line, I think, should be a bit thinner. Make it a bit thinner. That's better. Okay, so that's the line, x plus y equals 70. I'll write it here. x plus y equals 70. Um, 70, 70. And there we have our four lines. Now we've got to do the shading. Okay, it says on the grid, show the information from part A by drawing four straight lines and shading the unwanted region. So we've got to shade the regions that do not satisfy these inequalities. So y is greater than x. Okay, so y is greater than x. This is the line y equals x. y is greater than x is above it, so I need to shade what's below it. So I need to show, shade everything below this line without looking at any of the other inequalities. I'll deal with them one by one. So this, this whole area underneath this line has to be shaded. Because y is greater than x, we want what's above it, so we shade the unwanted region, which is the one below it. Okay. And then the next inequality said um, x is greater than or equal to 15. So x is greater than 15. Okay, this is x equals 15. We want what's to the right of it, so we're going to shade what's to the left of it. Okay, so we're going to shade this whole region here, less than x equals 15. So we'll go to the y. You don't have to take too long doing this. Okay. All right. Then it says, y is less than 
or equal to 49. That's what we drew. Y is less than or equal to 49. So we want what's below this, so we're going to shade what's above it. Okay? So we're going to shade what's above this line here. Should let me just uh, erase that. Just get rid of some of these parts here. Always, always do your shading in pencil. Always. Okay? Because if you make a mistake, that's it. You've got one diagram on the paper, and it's going to be a big hassle for you. So just make sure you do your shading always in pencil. Okay? Always. Any diagrams, anything you draw on diagrams, you should try your best to do it in pencil so that if you make a mistake, it's easy to correct. Then it says x plus y is less than or equal to 70. So that's x plus y equals 70. We want what's below, so we're going to shade what's above. So I'll just, oops, let me change the color again. So I'll shade what's above this line. Okay, so I'm shade above this line. Okay. So basically everything is shaded. Everything is shaded, including all this part, all of this stuff is shaded, except for the region, which is this quadrilateral, which makes sense because there's four boundaries, okay? So that's the region that is um, that is needed, that's unshaded, and they didn't say to write anything in that region, just leave it as it is, and I'm going to go on to part C of the question in the next video.